Hi, I'm Ross McCaw. Um, I live south of Marengo, Iowa, uh, eastern Iowa, and um, I've been farming pretty much my whole life and farming kind of on my own for this is my sixth year. And um, I do a three crop rotation. I do corn, soybeans, followed by rye. I really started on the kind of regenerative side of things uh, two years ago. Um, as I learned more and more going to get different seminars and stuff, because I was always the, let's just pour the fertilizer to it. Let's see if we can grow 300 bushel corn. And, and now it's getting to the point where I am, um, I want the soil to work and not me do so much of the work. So I'm, I'm adding good bacteria, good fungi, um, letting the cover crops kind of just help mix everything together. Um, get good water infiltration and and use less inputs to grow corn and soybeans. I was, I think I only did like, I think the minimum was four different trials and I did it in like two different spots and two different hybrids. And honestly, I was, I was kind of sweating a little bit because I, uh, I didn't want to have that yield drop, but that's the beauty about practical farmers is that they, they stand behind what they believe in. They're just a great group of people to work with, honestly. It's, it's definitely changed the way I've thought about farming, for sure. I'm doing a nitrogen reduction um, deal this year. I did it last year, and uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm pretty excited. I like what data we're gonna have this year, I think it's gonna open some people's eyes and show them what I'm doing and what the people at Practical Farmers is doing is, is working. And hopefully get people to implement a little bit kind of uh, more sustainable practices. Cover crops is it's definitely, um, it's definitely helping our soils to be more profitable.